Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here, and in this video, just wanted to show you. Actually, instead of a video game, I wanted to show you some of the uh, toys I guess I have in my collection. My room is filled with games and toys, and uh, I know you mostly see my games in my videos, but actually, my walls are covered in toys as well. So, uh, one day I'll do a room tour video and let you just see everything, but um, I figured this would be a good way just to show you some of the things I do have in my collection. So today I wanted to show you my current um, Holt Hogan collection. Uh, it includes toys, um, mostly toys, also one thing that's not a toy, but I'll show you that. And obviously, we're going to get this one out of the way first. This is a 31 inch figure, and I got this, um, this was after Holt Hogan had gotten in trouble with the WWE, and he's always been my favorite wrestler. And uh, But anyways, he got in trouble with the WWE, and they started not putting out his toys anymore so I went ahead and got the ones that I wanted before um, you could not get them anymore without paying you know scalpers on eBay this is one that I got now this feather boa um, did not come with them I actually made that and put that on there but it's a really good figure um, it's huge it's one thing that takes up a ton of room in my collection but they did a good job with the facial features uh, the feather boa just really makes it special to me I think that's pretty cool set that over there but yeah, Hogan's always been my favorite wrestler. Okay, so I got a stack of toys here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the loose ones out, uh, out of the way first. So this one here is made by LJN. You remember the video game company? Well, they made toys before they made video games. And this is one of the video games that they, not one of the video games, one of the toys they made. <laughs> this is a wrestling figure. And they used to make a lot of wrestling figures. They're very rubbery. Um, can't really bend them or anything. They don't, they're stuck in this one pose, but it's a pretty cool toy. Now this is not my original. I have a I have an original somewhere in storage, but I got this one cheap from uh, the Swat Shop, which I'll leave a link down below to the Swat Shop. Eric O'Shea, he has a lot of uh, wrestling toys if you're interested in uh, collecting toys or other things. But uh, so this is the LJN Holt Hogan. Pretty cool. He's supposed to come with a belt, like a championship belt, but uh, that part is always hard to find. I was gonna see if he will stand, but it don't look like he will. So we'll just set him over here for now. Uh, next up is another kind of rubber wrestling toy. It's Holt Hogan. I'm not sure who made this one. It doesn't say LJN on it, so I'm not really sure. But I like that one better, but this is pretty cool. This is a later um, version of Hogan, in, uh, you know, maybe in the uh, early 90s or so, maybe late 80s, but pretty cool figure. Now this is one of my favorite figures that I have in my collection outside of that one. This one also came from the Swat Shop. And this is a statue of Holt Hogan. It's supposed to have a stand, but I don't have the stand. But uh, really good detail on the shirt tearing. Really cool. There's no movable parts. But it's a very detailed figure. Captured his likeness very well. Here's the face, if you can see it. Really awesome toy, or statue, or whatever you want to call it. It's a toy. <laughs> uh, next up, this one's not necessarily a toy. And uh, y'all remember the George Foreman grill, right? Well, Hogan and George Foreman, Foreman, Foreman got a choice between two products. And uh, Hogan was offered the grill or this thing here called the Thunder Mixer. And as you can see, it's the Holt Hogan Thunder Mixer. So you can tell he didn't choose the uh, George Foreman grill. He went with this instead and it kind of flopped. It didn't sell well at all. Meanwhile, the George Foreman grill took off and Foreman is, you know, he's a millionaire. He was already a millionaire, but, I'm, you know, now he's definitely a millionaire. But the Thunder Mixer, you put your protein shake in there and shake it up. Pretty standard stuff these days, but this also came from Eric from the Swat Shop. Really cool. This is right after Hogan got busted for steroids. Now, it wasn't just him. A lot of people got busted, but look how small he is compared to how he normally is. Like, compared to the poster here, look at that. That's after he stopped doing steroids when uh, all the wrestlers started getting busted. All right, more to, I'm going to say the best figures for last, but uh, I believe this is the Holt Hogan Hall of Fame figure. Now, this is supposed to be when he defeated uh, Yokozuma, I think, and uh, really cool figure. It's got a few things I don't like about it. Um, the bandana on the head is a little loose, and but other than that, it's a cool figure, and this one was actually kind of hard to find. Uh, next up, pretty basic Holt Hogan figure. 
Uh, just says Hulk rules on the shirt. Very basic, Hulk from his early years. But very good figure. Um, can't go wrong with this figure, it's just a nice basic uh, version. The shirt does not come off that I can tell. No, shirt does not come off. Uh, next up is essentially the same figure but with the shirt off. And these actually started getting really cheap in the stores and they were not restocking them so I went ahead and got the ones I wanted while I could. Um, next up, this is from Holt Hogan's appearance at Wrestlemania. Was it Wrestlemania 30? I think it was. But just, you know, standard blue jeans, red shirt. I do like the uh, likeness. I think it represents um, modern day Hogan very well. There's the back. Yeah, Wrestlemania series. Um, next up, this is um, another modern day Hogan, but this is him when he, his entrance when he comes out. He's got his feather boa. Uh, the shirts can come off. Uh, they're like a rubberized shirt. One says Hulkamania, you can actually put the sunglasses on, so that's a really cool one. It's just got some information on the back. Next up we have the Hulk Hogan Funko Pop. <laughs> so uh, I'm not a big Funko Pop uh, collector, but every now and then if I see one that just catches my eye, like this one, I'll grab it. I think I have maybe three in my collection, two of which were given to me. Uh, next up, this is the Defining Moments, which is supposed to be one of the better figures you can get that you can find out in like Walmart and Kmart. But it's his uh, championship. It's got a little readout on the back with, the, uh, with some information from uh, WrestleMania 3. Okay, so this is from his win at WrestleMania 3. But yeah, really cool figure. Shirt comes off. It has a tear down the middle, so you can actually like put him in like a ripping pose. He's got the belt, the bandana actually comes off, and there's actually a necklace around his neck that you can take off. Pretty cool figure. One of the more expensive ones, but like I said, I found that one on sale. And next up, this is one of my, another one of my favorites, kind of dusty. <laughs> but uh, I used to love watching wrestling during the uh, NWO um, timeline, you know, with the WCW versus NWO. Holt Hogan was my favorite even during that time. And uh, this is the uh, Smash and Slam version of Holt Hogan from the NWO. Very mean looking, almost like a Hulkish looking. But uh, he has like a throwing action, I believe. Uh, comes with metal stairs and some spray paint because uh, Hogan, Hogan, after he beat somebody, he would flip them over and spray paint their back and stuff. So that was really cool. Uh, you got Sting, Scott Hall, DDP. Macho Man, here you can look on the back. But yeah, there's several other figures on there that you could get. But uh, very cool figure. I got this one on eBay for like $7 complete, which is awesome. But I think that's it for my Hogan collection, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's something a little different. I normally do, um, you know, game videos, but I also have a ton of toys like <laughs> lining my walls. I'm going to try to do a, a, a room tour video soon. but. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and we will hopefully see you next time. Adios.